everybody I hope everybody's doing well well today I'm here to do my grand finale of my project pan this was 13 by Halloween and today is actually October 31st 2016 and uh, so by the time you see this though Halloween would have passed uh, but I hope everybody had a safe and fun and yeah wonderful Halloween all right guys so let's get right to this uh, project pan finale I'm gonna start off with products that uh, um, I just really didn't touch you know I really I kind of work my way to the ones that I did complete and then I'll talk about the three alternates now real quickly uh, you're not gonna see in this video is a Jergens glow I'll put it right here that one I had already finished up I even featured it in the empties already and I threw it away so this one is number one and all used up so that one is clear all right now this one my benefit powder flage now this is a uh, setting powder for underneath your eyes um, you know what I did use it but I didn't complete it I here here I don't know if you could see it's hard to tell with these lights what you're able to see and what you're not but um, let's see if I kind of if you can see the powder right there uh, I don't have a lot to go I don't but um, I just I really didn't touch this product a whole heck of a lot uh, because I'm you know the older I get the less I want to set my under eyes but I'm gonna keep working with this until I get it finished and hopefully soon in the near future you will see this in an empties um, yeah but uh, I did use it I just you know didn't complete that one all right the other one is my mineral veil this is from bare minerals and it's the mineral veil and let me show you I did use this one I did um, and it's the powder is way down to here so I did use this um, I didn't use it every single time because not all foundations uh, I really didn't need to put it on with a lot of the found, matte foundations that I have so the less powder I have on my face the better for me <laughs> so uh, but I did use it and I think that I did get through quite a bit of it and I'll just keep going with this one so that one I did not complete all right let's talk about this one I'll be honest with you the the two lipsticks that I have in this project pan I actually forgot that I had it I should have kept them in my purse or I should have just transferred them into the main project pan uh, items that I want to use up for 2016 and get it off of that basket uh, because I reach for that basket every single day and it would have reminded me that I had this so I actually have it on today and I really wish I would have pull, pulled this out more but I actually to, to be honest with you guys I really forgot that I had this one in my project in my 13 by Halloween uh, and it's such a gorgeous gorgeous color that I'm actually going to leave this in my purse um, or in my project uh, pan the items I want to use up for 2016 so I'm gonna keep using that so that I didn't finish that that's three items I didn't finish all right um, my essence this is the Kajal pencil in love me lavender yeah um, I, I have it on today and uh, I love this one I love it and I did use it as you I think you could see a comparison shot here and it's a lot lower or somewhat lower but I did use it I do enjoy this and this will be something that I am going to carry over into my 2017 project pan um, getting my items together and this is going to be one of them because I really really do love this for giving that pop of color uh, and it doesn't interfere with my contact lenses and that's what I like about this one so it's really pretty and I will just continue to put this one in future project pans all right guys uh, the next one is my NYX Wicked Dreams uh, it's the one particular shadow that I wanted to get through and it's this one right here um, I did make a good dent in it but I didn't get through it at all uh, but I made a good dent and I did use it and I do love this color um, it's got uh, some gold in it some gold flecks in it let me give you a good swatch it's white but it it really I don't know if you'll be able to see that but it has a very pretty gold flex to it and it's so pretty and when it catches the light it gives a very nice gold reflection 
I don't know if that's coming up, but I really do enjoy this one. But I didn't get through it. So that is one, two, three, four, five. Five I did not get through. All right, guys. Oops, sorry, I just moved you. Okay, the Tarte Amazonian Clay uh, Foundation. Uh, okay, recently um, in this month, I really started using this. Now, this is too light for me. Uh, I got it too light, you know, in the first place. But I started mixing them with different foundations, and it didn't always work with every single foundation that I mixed it with. What I did find that it worked with was my new, um, with this one here, the Urban Decay Naked Skin. Is that what it's called? All Nighter. I'm sorry, not Naked Skin. All Nighter. This one here. This is too dark. It's not too dark upon putting it on. It oxidizes right away, and it's too orange too orange once it oxidizes but I mix these two together and it works perfect so I like this combination um, so I that's what I've been doing I've been pulling that one and using this now you here in the leaf area I don't know if you'll be able to see but you're able to see through most of it now and what I have to do to get the product out now I actually have to squeeze from the bottom and squeeze it out into the uh, hole the opening so it's pretty much nearly done this is pretty much nearly done. I mean, I don't know if you could see there, you could see the clearness of the leaf. So I have to push it and get as much as I can out. So this one, I would really call it a success. Uh, no, it's not fully completed, but it's, it's just about there. And um, yeah, I'm going to get this done and you'll probably see it in the empties coming up really, really soon. So that was you know, it really, I think that's a success. The other one here, this is the uh, Midnight Pomegranate. This is the uh, Fragrant Mist from Bath & Body Works. And when I started, I started with it right here where it says Midnight, right here. And uh, I am all the way down to there. Right here. So, you know, that is that is quite a bit. That is quite a bit that I used. And so I will continue to use this until it is completely done. Um, again, I think this one is a success, even though it, it is not fully completed. But I, I will get that done here really, really soon. All right, moving on to products that I did use up. All right, I did use up the Wet n Wild uh, All Day Wear Photo Focus Setting Spray. This is gone. And no, I will not repurchase this. I think it's a good setting spray, guys. But as you guys know, and I've said it endless times, and I don't like the smell, and we'll just leave it at that. But uh, yeah, I'm glad I am done with that. So that one is completed. Okay, the next one is the Ulta Makeup Brush and Sponge Cleaner. Uh, I just recently finished this one. Um, and you know what? I wouldn't repurchase this one. Uh, I just, I don't know. I just don't think that it cleaned my brushes all that great. So I would not repurchase it. And I, I think with this one too, if I'm not mistaken, it just really smelled like alcohol, I think, with this one here. But anyways, yeah, no, I wouldn't wouldn't repurchase that. The other one I got through is the Rock Brilliance uh, Face Primer for Anti-Aging. They do not sell this one anymore. Uh, so obviously I wouldn't repurchase it. But uh, I do have that other one from, um, was it L'Oreal in the red bottle? This one here, it's very, very, very similar to this one. So yeah, this one's very similar. This is too expensive though, $24 for that one. Anyways, this is done and uh, glad that that is out of my collection. The other one is my uh, Celebrate Grace uh, Roller Ball. This is completed. I kept this with me in my purse and I would not use any other perfume except for this one until this one was actually done. So. That's what helped getting through that one because uh, many times I wanted to try my other perfumes that are here, but I didn't. I would just pull to that one. And the other thing that I finished up was my uh, CoverGirl Olay Simply Ageless 230 Eye Corrector. This is completely done. Yeah, and I do have backups of this one, so I'm going to continue to use this. <laughs> so that was one, two, three, four, five completed. These two here, I call it a success because they're just about done. And then I will have to work on the other stuff. And now for my three alternates, again with this lipstick, it happens the same thing with uh, my NARS uh, Corella. Did I call this Rakugan earlier? I don't know. 
because <laughs> I had another one. My NARS uh, Cruella. Uh, the same thing happened with this one. I forgot that I had it. I completely forgot. And this is a shame because look at that. That's all that's left. That's it. But yeah, I'll get through that. Um, you'll see this in an empty soon. So I'm going to keep this one also in my purse. And uh, for this alternate here, this is the NARS. This is Chelsea Girls. Uh, I didn't even touch it. So this alternate, yeah, I didn't touch it. And this one here, this is my Revo. Uh, this is uh, from the limited edition last year for Christmas lip balm. And look at that. That is pretty much almost done. When I apply this now, I could feel the rim of the, the outer rim when I put it on my lips. So I got to be a little bit careful. But this is pretty much completed. Uh, yeah, I can get more uses out of this, but I really got down to the the bare uh, nub to this one. So yeah, this was a success as well. And this is one of my alternates. So anyways, my friends, that was it. That was how I did with my 13 by Halloween. I cannot wait to watch your guys' finales. Uh, please link it below or let me know to go check it out because I would love to see how you guys did. And yeah, so anyways, my friends, I will see you all on the next one. Bye.